okay for this particular session uh, start your web code all right then of course do a proper login using your ID I have already logged in as my using my previous ID that I've created we are going to look into this uh, injection SQL injection let me close this first all right so SQL actually is a structured query language yeah, which you will, will learn in the SQL unit itself so there's a lot of reading here uh, basically I will suggest that you go through them what I want to do is basically to go into this red section here which basically there is a exercise so over here you are already given a particular user called Smith right. so uh, if you type in his name get an account and of course you will only see Smith's uh, data record right. so only Smith will appear <coughs> now I'm going to type in my name uh, of course I don't exist therefore there is no result what happened if I just put a single quote? You will get an error message, a uh, malform string. Uh, basically, what happened is there is a violation of the SQL statement. Um, of course, I'll go through that uh, when we are going through the SQL itself, which is the unit itself. But right now, this particular error here our malform or string basically already indicate to me that there is a possible SQL injection uh, vulnerability into the system so let's me just type something inside here okay I will terminate the string uh, using the single quote and I want to force the record to be true or the condition to be true so uh, apply the or operator and since this is a string I'll, I'll formulate a true statement now I'm leaving out the last quote because the system uh, most likely will actually add this quote in now this particular section the all section we will always be evaluated to a true and if you look at your truth table that uh, you learn basically the uh, anything that is all with true value will always result in a true so the whole statement itself will be a true statement so let me just click this and what happened over here is uh, you will notice that I don't exist lim doesn't exist inside the database but because every record returns a true value in the condition all of it appears okay and uh, well this tells me over here all right okay you have succeed and you can see the check marks uh, on the top okay then you can also see your number actually change to a green color the next section basically is similar but uh, it is actually a numeric value so they are actually looking for a number um, from the question over here you can see that there is a value 101 so only the user ID 101 appear uh, there is a type there is a system problem here they put here name actually it should be uh, user ID but anyway this is a, just a small matter now I want to force this to be true as well okay so how well uh, one way is to put an or out right still using the or operator but I can just put in the true value which is the boolean value all right let's see if this one works and you can see the result actually is everything appears right you can also see the uh, you have succeed okay this uh, you can see the check mark and of course this part here actually turns green color so basically uh, this is more onto the injection SQL injection particularly All right. so this will basically cover some basic 
understanding for this SQL injection. Okay, see you next time.